I remember when I was little and I'd get home from school and I'd play with my brothers for a while, but we all had this radar and it was like we always knew when our dad was within a mile. Whatever we were doing, we would stop and we'd sprint to the slider door. We sat there staring through the glass pane, waiting for what we were looking for. And each day it was like we were keeping score because we'd embark on this great war to see who got to hug dad first. As we got older, those hours we spent looking through glass panes turned into basketball games and to be honest, anything else that entertained. I'll never forget the day when my dad got home and there's no child's face smiling, waiting for their dad to return. The thing is, my dad still came home. There was just a, a day that that fact no longer was a concern. There was a time where I took a turn and decided to unlearn the excitement of my father's return. When reading Matthew 25, we see the parable of the ten bridesmaids. We see that when the bridegroom leaves, which could have been for decades, the bridesmaids were to prepare by getting oil. The expectation was to wait in anticipation, similar to my childhood, yet we see not many would. There were five that prepared and obtained what they needed, while the other five fell asleep, now unprepared, so they pleaded. The thing is, they knew they were to prepare for the bridegroom return. It was just that one day that fact was no longer a concern. I refuse to relive the history of those bridesmaids or 10-year-old me, forgetting to get my oil and showing up to the banquet just to find out I don't have the key. I want to always be waiting at the slider door, staring through the glass. And I don't care if I'm the last, I just don't want to relive the reality of my past. These stories we hear from Jesus were in his last days. and. He's not telling us these stories to create fear, but to see who stays. You see, he's prophesying his return, his coming back, so we can be filled with expectancy and hope greater than before. So, I'll leave you with this lasting question. Will you join me at the glass slider door? Matthew 25 says, At the time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied, There may not be enough for both of us. Instead, go to those who sell the oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later the others also came, Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. He replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour.